All right, so we need some definitions for independent events. So independent events are two events which do not affect each other. So an obvious example is if you toss a coin and roll a die. The result of the coin cost and the result of the rolling the dice have no effect on each other. If we have events A and B, which are two independent events, then the intersection of those events, probability A and B, is the product of the probability of A and the probability of B. Do you want to pop in some more examples of uh, what could be some independent events there, Mr. Song? Um, independent events. How about the color of my shirt and then uh, color of Mr. Kerbis's shirt? That's right. We have no idea what the other one is wearing. We both go to our, our own wardrobes and, uh, and have a look there. Good. Okay, in this example, we are given that Giuseppe has a 60% chance of winning a tennis match. Henry has a 75% chance of winning a tennis match. Obviously, Henry's a, a little bit better, um, but they're not playing each other, right? So, Giuseppe's game has nothing to do with Henry's game. They're maybe playing in different locations or whatever. What is the probability that they both win their tennis matches? Well, we can say that uh, Giuseppe winning and Henry winning the tennis match are independent events. So to find the probability that Giuseppe wins and Henry wins is probability of Giuseppe winning times probability of Henry winning. So 0 0.6 times 0 0.75. Okay, so 0 0.6 times 0.75 is 0 0.45. Good. And what about Giuseppe wins but Henry loses? Okay, they're also independent events. So Giuseppe winning would be 0 0.6, and Henry losing, they're complementary events. So if Henry has 75% chance of winning, then he has 25% chance of losing. Good, so that's going to be 0 0.15. One quarter of 0 0.6, 0 0.15. All right, good. So. If we have a look here next, I'm going to show a clip of the famous illusionist Darren Brown, and your starter tomorrow morning will have to do with this clip. He actually did this. It's quite a fascinating. He's quite quite a fascinating guy, and he's got a lot of uh, programs out there. Um, and so have a look at, at what he does, and uh, your your task tomorrow morning will be related to this final clip.